everyone i hope you're all well and staying healthy i'm nocturne if this is the first time that you're watching one of my videos hello i do k-pop as well as pick card readings over here on youtube before we start the video i just want to say thank you guys so 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 much i can't believe i've reached over 3,000 subscribers yay so to commemorate this very special event i'm going to post a very special video answering some of your questions about your favorite idols your favorite k-pop group a celebrity things like that which will hopefully go live next week so if you guys have any questions and you haven't had a chance to ask your question yet please do so in the comment section of my latest community post so you can go to my channel and then you'll find the community tab over there and then just find the latest post um but yeah guys today we're going to be doing a video on jung hae in this is a very very highly requested video and i've actually done a reading for him before um it was a friendship reading with him and jisoo of blackpink so if you guys want a more in-depth look into his personality and things like that i've already covered that and i'll link that somewhere on the screen now but today i'm going to be focusing on jung hae in and seeing how the year is going to unfold for him what blessings are coming his way as well as delve into each quarter so we're going to go into the details um but yeah guys as usual i just want to make a quick disclaimer that i'm not going to be divulging too much into his personal life out of respect for him and for whomever i do a reading about in the future but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's just get straight into the reading hi guys oh my god you can probably hear it on my voice already but i am feeling so giddy and like joyful cheerful i feel like that's how he's feeling right now his energy is really coming through um i usually like to start my readings by getting a little bit of an overview into someone's personality especially if i haven't done a reading for them before but because i have done a reading for jung hae in prior to this the one with jisoo um you can definitely watch that if you want to see a more in-depth look into his personality and things like that but now i'm gonna start the reading by by focusing on his current energy and i can see that he's juggling a lot of like work commitment guys with the two of pentacles and the well he's really coming out of his shell he really wants to try something new i see there's a lot of opportunities that are coming his way in terms of career like already right now i see there's multiple offers that he's being given already so he's currently juggling and trying to like figure out scheduling and things like that for 2022 but with the well i do see that he's going to tap into um roles that he hasn't done before he's being a little bit more experimentative he wants to explore more sides of himself he's stepping out of his comfort zone definitely um because i do see that in the past with the nine of swords and the judgment here um he would make a lot of his decisions based on what people around him would say like he cares very very deeply about how people feel about him so if people don't feel happy about him it would really drag him down if people gave him a very like a harsh criticism he would think about it for days and things like that so let's say a manager or someone in his management team said oh you should definitely do a role like this then that then he would definitely listen to them is what i'm trying to say but this year he is definitely definitely coming out of his shell he's exploring more parts of himself and he's going through a huge transformative period with a judgment right here almost like a rebirth okay this year is all about jung hae in following his heart so he's no longer gonna care so much or listen too much to criticism let that you know um, affect his mental health and things like that this year he is focused on making himself happy he wants to do projects that he will be proud of he wants to do things that he will be proud of um just doing things from the heart so i think that's something that is really really beautiful but yeah guys even though he's busy even though he's juggling i can see that he's feeling really really excited for the rest of the year so now let's focus guides what are some of the big themes for jung hae in in 2022 what are some of the big themes for jung hae in in 2022 let's start with some oracles guides what are some of the big themes for jung hae in in 2022 oh that was quick yes what did i say you guys oh my god 
<laughs> oh my gosh what did i say about letting go that need about you know like satisfying other people but himself listening to other people's criticism listening to other people's opinions but himself he's really letting go of all of that now he just wants to follow his heart he just wants to be happy he just wants to make himself proud i surrender generously to the ebbing and flowing of life he's just going with the flow he's more easy going i feel like his shoulders like used to feel really heavy but now everything is lifted like i told you guys in the very beginning i couldn't stop uh, i couldn't stop smiling the second i started the reading because it just feels so cheerful and joyful and excited about the future he's really believing in magic true magic is abounding in my life he's feeling really fulfilled and he's feeling really like blessed and abundant in this moment um there's a lot of things that are making him very very happy in his life right now he's also manifesting very well so, you know manifestations happen whether sometimes you know that you're doing it or not just the fact that you believe in yourself and the fact that you're truly grateful for all the good that's happening in your life makes those things multiply and i see that right now because he's trusting himself he has confidence he's going after his dreams and he believes he can achieve those dreams those things are coming to him too so like i mentioned to you guys i saw that he has multiple offers coming his way already but i see there's going to be even more offers coming to him so there's going to be a lot of juggling he's going to be very busy but at the same time i can see that it's going to make him very very happy so 2022 seems like it's shaping up into a very good year for Jung Hae In. Um, but let's see through each quarter. So guides, let's start with, we're currently already in March. So March, April, May. So March, April, May, guides, what can you tell us about March, April, May for Jung Hae In? Okay. Okay. Anything else? Oh, did that card want to jump out? No? Okay, yes. Wow. Okay, so March, April, May. Um, in terms of career, I do see that there's something that he had already wrapped up, like a job or a just something like a yeah just a job something that he's already wrapped up but it looks like he has to go back and finish it off like there's something that is not quite finished yet that maybe he needs to do a voiceover maybe he needs to do some added scenes something like that but i do see that he's left something and he's going back <laughs> is what i'm hearing another thing i do see is that he's feeling really fulfilled in his relationships and his career with the ten of pentacles he's making a lot of money he's um seeing a lot of success in his career in these three months his name is going to be uh, said in a very positive way but at the same time i do see he's getting along with a lot of the people that are surrounding him he's feeling very very protective of one person in particular the queen of wands um this person makes him feel very happy. This person is someone who's very cheerful, um, someone that makes him feel a lot more lighthearted too. The Queen of Wands, um, she's someone that is very attractive, um, very kind-hearted, very warm, like something about them just feels very warm. Like you feel so happy surrounded by them. Um, but I do see that in these three months, he feels very, very protective of this person right here. He wants to make sure that this person is safe. He wants to make sure that this person is cared for and loved for. So anything else, guys, in regards to relationships with this Queen of Wands? Oops. Yeah. That's why. Wow, you guys. <laughs> Um, I can tell you this. Um, also, okay, I can tell you this. I, uh, sorry, I'm like getting pulled in so many things. Um, here's the thing. He is in a very close uh, relationship with this person right here. I'm not going to say whether they're dating or not, but they are in a very, very close relationship. It's something that is very secretive with the moon. Not many people know about it, but he is very much in love with this person like he cares so much about this person now the issue right now is that with the devil i do see that there are a lot of people that are opposed to this this is something that's very normal i see it pop up a lot in like 
my readings about uh, public figures and things like that because you know each and every one of them have a lot of admirers each and every one of them have careers to think about and things like that so with the devil right here i do see that he feels very very protective of his relationship with this person because he wants to ensure that it doesn't get destroyed he wants to make sure that people don't say horrible things about this person he cares about them a lot so he likes to keep it close to his chest and keep it quite secretive so so that's march april may anything else guys do you want to have do you want to show us any oracles for march april may anything else march april may for jung hey in march april may for jung hey in <laughs> anything else oops wow oh there's two cards that jumped out yeah yeah this is what i mean about oh i already shuffled them never mind um but you know he wants to be free he wants to enjoy his moment with this uh person that is in his life but for now he just wants to make sure that it's you know protected that it stays close to his chest that not that many people know about it and things like that in these three months i also see that he is really really manifesting his dreams like i told you guys before remember with manifesting dreams and he also had believing in magic true magic is bounding in my life my dreams are coming true again with the spider spirit make your dreams real he is really getting down working really hard making his goals and dreams come true and that is happening in these three months too he's really setting healthy boundaries i see that with a lot of the people around him too we also have a lot of number three so maybe a lot of friends are asking him questions that maybe he's not really comfortable with and he wants to set healthy boundaries he wants to keep things private um but yeah, he's working very hard. He's also tending to some of the small things, details, work, uh, life admin, things like that. But all in all, these three months are going to be very good. Three months for Jung Hae In. So guys, now let's see about, what was it again? Um, March, April, May, June, July, August. So guys, June, July, August. A lot of money, June, July, August. We already have the Ace of Pentacles show up. June, July, August for Jung Hae In. I can't shake this giddy feeling. Like he's just in a very good place right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, guys. So um, March, April, May, June, July, August. So June, July, August is not necessarily going to be a very good month for him. Um... Okay, so I do see that something um, quite uh, difficult is going to happen to Jung Hae In in these three months. Career-wise, he's going to be okay. Career is going to be good. He's making money. He's getting a lot of help. He's also giving help. So maybe like he's giving to charity and things like that. But I do see with the Tower, the Temperance in Reverse, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, I do see a relationship ending in these three months. I do it. I do see that it's going to come as a shock for him. Um, it's going to leave him feeling very, very broken. It's going to be very difficult for him to like um, think clearly because, yeah, the situation is going to feel like it's coming out of like the blue. Um, I am going to be honest with you guys. He is going to feel quite shattered from the situation i see that with the temperance in reverse he's not gonna feel peaceful or any balance in his life it feels like things are just being you know like wrecked um with the queen of swords and the queen of cups he's trying to remain very you know i told you guys from in the beginning that he's this year is all about him following his heart you know this is the second time that the queen of cups is coming up and so he when he wants to follow his heart what his heart is telling him is to be with this person is to try to mend this situation that's going on um but at the same time logically he knows that he needs to let it go so it's something that's very very difficult i do see that in the end with the eight of cups here he is going to step away from the situation um but it is going to cause him a lot of heartache um so yeah that's going to happen in um march april may june july august yeah guys wow so june july august anything else guys in regards to june july august for jung hae in that is not particularly 
oh my gosh the ten of pentacles and the emperor comes out again and the four of swords in reverse this is what i mean okay guys so as i mentioned to you guys before in the very beginning there is someone in his life and i wouldn't be too fix fixated with like oh she's the queen of wands like it, the queen of wands is just a way for the guides to say that you know this person is someone who is very creative someone who's in the art industry or something like that someone who's very beautiful warm-hearted kind-hearted and you know people just can't look away but as i mentioned to you guys in the very beginning this woman is someone that he feels very very protective of you know the emperor and the ten of pentacles comes out again with the ten of pentacles he just wants to have like kind of like a happily ever after with this person it's just that now with everything kind of like i mean i don't want to say that you know things are going to end or whatever but i do see that something is going to happen that will disrupt their relationship um yeah and he feels very restless about it he feels very quite stressed about it so guys is this the focus for March, May, June, August, okay. yeah yeah we have the five of wands um a lot of altercation people not getting along i feel like maybe people are attacking online as well as people around them something like that there's just a lot of fighting a lot of negativity yeah it feels like just yeah okay so and and he feels like there's just a lot of pressure and not just on him but on this person's shoulder as well with a 10 of wands it's just too much weight on their shoulders i feel like this is such a shame you guys i feel i feel so bad for like these celebrities and you know idols when i do readings for them because they're just human beings right and all human beings deserve love deserve to be cared for but under so much scrutiny and under so much stress and pressure in their work not just from you know people but also from management or from friends or families things like that it can just be too too much and that's the case of it here i see there's just people that are fighting around him about his relationship and it's something that is just putting too much pressure for him and for the person that he cares about. And so he's decided that, okay, it's ended and now I have to focus on my career. I have to focus on making things feel stable again for me, for this person, for everyone involved. So, okay, so yeah, so those three months are going to be quite, quite difficult for Jung Hae in OK Guide. So now we're into march april may june july august september october november september october november guys can you tell us anything about september october november oh there's a card here yes okay i'll talk about this in a little bit so september october november september october november yeah wow again <gasps> okay <sighs> okay so um we do have quite a few cards i'm gonna talk about the two of swords first and the six of swords in reverse so as, as i told you guys that this feeling that he has for this person in his life is very 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 strong and as i mentioned there's something that's going to happen in the previous three months that is going to kind of like um really affect their relationship and it's going to really cause some pain in his heart but i do see that in this period in these three month period he's going to realize that he cannot leave so i did see with the eight of cups that he had left that situation three months ago and he decided to focus on more on his career again but i do see that in these three months he realizes you know what i don't really care i don't care what people say i'm going to go after it like he doesn't want to give up okay he's going to go back he's going to go back to this person because he does feel like there's no one else like them. There's no one else that he's ever met that is like them with the Empress here. Um, this person has made him see things from a different point of view. They've brought out a side of him that has never come out before. Um, he feels a lot more confident, a lot more excited. He's a lot more warm hearted. And people see that difference too, you know, with a king of wands, people see that like, oh, look at you, you're, you're like so talkative and you're fun and you're being really like just warm hearted and funny and things like that. So he, he likes that. So it's not just that this person is someone that he cares about, but he feels like they have changed his life since this person has come into his life. So he wants that back. Um, 
yeah yeah so with the two of wands and the chariot as as well like he's going to go back to the situation he's going to try his hardest because with the two of wands he sees a future with this person he sees this person um as not just part of this little stage in his life but throughout you know the next periods of his life too okay guys so now we are just in december oh my goodness we're already in december okay so guys anything else about jung hae in in december december whoops okay wow okay Wow. Wowza, wowza. Okay, anything else? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we have the King of Cups, the King of Swords. So many kings have appeared for Jung Hae In today. We have the Moon and the Seven of Wands. Okay, guys. So remember how I told you that he's been, he's going to like be manifesting a lot of his goals and dreams this year a lot of things that he's wanted to happen is going to happen this year so i see that in this three month period uh, sorry in this one month period in december something is going to happen okay so there is something that he's been wanting to do with the moon and the seven of wands in reverse i do feel like he kept it quite close to his chest he was quite secretive about it um about doing this thing and it felt like it just it was never gonna happen in the past it felt like oh it's just it doesn't make sense for me to do this kind of project or um they would never choose me or whatever things like that but things are just falling into place and in december i do see that things are gonna move so easily with the seven of wands in reverse whatever struggles he felt in regards to this thing that he really really wanted to do that he kept quite secret um all the struggles are gonna go away everything is just gonna flow really really easy he's gonna be really victorious with the king of cups the knight of swords the six of wands you guys it feels like he's going to win something like um an award um or he's going to be victorious and come on top let's say there's a lot of people that were vying for the same position he's going to get it so he's going to win okay in december he's going to win uh, with the king of cups and the king of swords this is not just something that makes him feel very very excited it's not just something that stimulates him intellectually actually but it also and as well as making making sense for him in terms of his career but it's also something that really speaks to his heart this is something that he's going to be fully invested in okay and it's also going to open up a lot of doors for him with a wheel of fortune doing this whatever this is that he's going to be very victorious at is going to open up a lot of doors and a new cycle for him which is like perfectly timed with december so i do see that 2023 there's going to be even a lot more opportunities for him because of this thing that's going to happen so guys anything else you'd like to say in regards to jung hae in before we close this reading so guys anything else wow <laughs> we have the sun and the knight of cups okay so so you guys, <laughs> he's changing. He's completely changing. And the person that he is now is someone that is very much in touch with his emotional sides and his sensitivity, his feelings and how they fluctuate throughout the day truly affects him in other ways. I feel like he was quite good at detaching himself from his emotions in the past, but now he finds that his emotions are what drives him into doing amazing work into doing amazing acting into giving as much as he can to his craft because he feels so much um and that's what's going to bring him more success this year too because people are recognizing more of his talents because he's able to display more of his talents because of his heart so the guys are saying that as long as he follows his heart he's going to be successful so <laughs> If you guys ever like, you know, speak to him or have a fan sign with him, just, you know, maybe encourage him to be um, more in touch with his emotions, which is something that he is doing now because it will bring him a lot, a lot of luck. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I just wanted to remind you guys again that I am going to be doing a special reading. And so if you guys have any questions, make sure you put it in a comment box in um, my latest community post and I'll have a look through there. But anyways, guys, please take care of yourselves. Please be kind to yourselves. And I really hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.